currently we are doing screening for fistula patients. Uh, patients who are leaking urine and who are leaking stool uncontrollably, either both or uh, in isolation. So all these patients, when they come, we are doing screening. We've done a lot of screening in the sub-counties, and so we have referrals. As at now, we have confirmed cases with 36 whom we are yet awaiting from the counties to come. This morning we have received about 67 already mothers are waiting to be screened and uh, to be... Uh, now allocated if they are going for surgery or they are going to have other treatment modalities. We have different di treatment modalities for this. Usually we have surgeries for corrective uh, to do the correction or sometimes we have uh, uh, what we call conservative management whereby the patient will have to go through maybe some certain uh, uh, physical exercises which we call kegels and pelvic floor exercises to, to enable them again now to, to hold their urine or their stool again. Now, there are patients who will come and probably they have fistula but they could be having other medical conditions. Remember these are patients who are coming from home, they have they could be having diabetes, they could be having hypertension, they could be having maybe even uh, anemia or other conditions. We have to correct that before they go to theatre. So in a nutshell, what am I saying? These patients, we have to look at them wholesomely and try to sort them also wholesomely. Uh, I'd just like to confirm that uh, in terms of preparedness for the patients, we are up to task. We have the commodities that we need, the pharmaceutical commodities, non-pharmaceutical commodities, our theatres are ready. Uh, we have enough space uh, in uh, different wards within the hospital to be able to accommodate these patients adequately and provide for even food that they need during the, their stay in the hospital. So I'd just also like to extend my appreciation to everyone who has come <coughs> to ensure that this particular activity uh, is a success from the, the county government of Bigori, the office of the first lady, the first lady herself, uh, and everyone else who has come on board. So thanks a lot. Today we are at the Migori County Referral Hospital just to ascertain the pre level of preparedness for our upcoming medical camp to do corrective surgeries for our women who are suffering from fistula. Fistula is a disease that robs our mothers of their dignity and hope and when they don't have the two then they are not able to thrive in the society, they are not able to take care of their families well, they are not able to move around, they are not able to carry out any economic activity because even if it is business nobody will buy anything from a lady who, ha who, is a, who has a stench that she cannot control because this is a disease, it doesn't matter how many times you take a bath, you still uh, have that smell because you'll be con you are continuously leaking of urine and some cases the stool. We want to appreciate uh, uh, Mpesa Foundation, the Flying Doctors and our government and the governor and the government because we have walked through and we've realized that uh, they are well prepared. They've done screenings all over the sub-counties within Migori County. They have patients who are in need of this surgery. We are also asking those who are still at home and would, would uh, want to take advantage of this uh, gesture from MPESA and flying doctors to please come forth because you don't choose to get this disease. This disease arises when the woman is undertaking or carrying out their normal duty of giving birth to a child. It is not that you have committed any offense to have fistula. It's just the nature and the period you take in labor that can lead to fistula. So don't be embarrassed. It's a disease that embarrasses people. Don't be embarrassed. You take control of yourself. Come, we help you. It is being done free of charge. Wherever you are, we will come for you. We will pick you. You will not pay for anything. We are going to give you uh, the medication, the surgery. And as the nurse has said, not all of them will undergo surgery. Some of them, they'll be addressed through physiotherapy uh, processes that will make them heal. So we are very grateful. The medications, the equipments required are all already in place. We've confirmed the beds are ready, waiting for the patients. So please come forward and uh, let's get assistance.